Good morning guys, hope you are doing great today. This video is going to be about file fix, which is a variation of something originally dubbed click fix, which we've been covered quite a few times already. The original one that is, not this file fix. This is brand new, this is released by Mr. Docs a couple of days back as of recording this video. So released June 23rd, 2025. And yeah, let's just dive into it. This technique that was called Capacha staging, Capacha fishing, I read, Recapacha fish, and then dubbed into click fix by the community. And as far as I can understand, this was originally documented by Tonmoy Yitu in August 30th, uh, 2024. It showcases how real threat actors out there, real attackers, are actually using a fake Kapacha page, which I'm probably pronouncing wrong, and you're probably going to get mad about it in the comments, and that's fine because that's engagement. Please comment. Are is used to entice users into running PowerShell commands through Windows shortcuts. So the end user would be presented with something like this that they would have to verify that they are a human, and this is something that typical end users probably have seen before, having to solve a puzzle or do some steps in order to verify that you are indeed human. It happens to me occasionally as well so probably something that most end users are common with are familiar with seeing but then the actual instructions is to run windows plus r to open the run dialog control v to paste a malicious powershell stage single one-liner into their run as dialog have been uh, that has been set by the malicious page using the clipboard and then running that script pressing enter that, in this case, triggered the MSHTA lulbin, pulling down some script, and then further pulling down another PowerShell stager, which then in turn probably stages some sort of ransomware or, or malicious binary in some sort. And this was probably followed by some hands-on activity for this workstation, right? This was, this is rather well, as I said, August last year, so this was quickly picked up at the time by John Hammond. He created a video about this, as well as created an example that he shared on his GitHub page. And to be honest, this, this looks way better than the original book that was mentioned in the blog article, so kudos for that. Yeah, look at this, this looks way more legitimate, to be fair. And he, yeah, showed off how this can be used. Educational purposes only, right? But this is still ongoing and is, it seems to be quite a popular attack to this day. However, Mr. Docs said, fuck no, let's look at this again. And he found something he dubbed file fix, which seems to be another variation of this. So he mentions this click fix attack. And then he talks about how the file, choose file input dialog that is open through explorer.exe, but in browsers, when you have an input dialog like this, like a choose file, input type file in HTML, can actually be used to run commands. Now, the fact that explorer.exe can be used to run commands like this is fairly known. It's, it's essentially giving you access to invoke another process and pa pass that process argument, so you can easily run CMD or PowerShell and pass it arguments like you would with run as. So he got the idea of modifying this into what he called file fix and running commands using this dialog instead of the run as dialog that you would do in click fix. He provided an example here and what is really interesting is that in the example he shows how he can pad the command with zeros or sorry, not zeros, with spaces in order to hide it from the user. So the user would copy, open this Word document or whatever, open the file explorer, paste it in here and then the user would see, okay, we're opening the document now, that's great. But if we go all the way in the front of the command, you're actually seeing what the user is actually running and it's just padded with spacer afterwards to hide it. So I thought that was quite interesting. A way to, I would say, obfuscate or hide the actual command being ran. And this, this GUI also looks pretty decent. I'll demo this here in a second. Another observation that he did is that the mark of the web attribute that is assigned to the file or to an exe when downloaded or many other extensions when downloaded is actually removed when you run the file using this open dialog explorer page that is triggered from the browser so that could be used to essentially combine this and the above example by making the user run the exes without having to do the smart screen or the mark of the web except dialog sorry smart screen will still be there that's dependent on windows but the mark of the web dialog will be gone then so there's one less prompt to accept to having to run so that was quite interesting i do think the first example is the most the most realistic one those to be used Let's take a look at that. So I've saved that as index.html. I actually had to disable Windows Defender in order to do this. Looks like this. So the user would click the copy and then they would open File Explorer and select the address bar. So open File Explorer 
and then I can select the address bar by clicking here or by doing control L on my keyboard. Let's paste it in. As you see, we're just opening this really secure document on our from our run drive folder here. But if we go way back, we're seeing that we're actually running powershell.exe and pinging example.com. So when the user clicks open here, the command will be ran. Oh, sorry. There we go. The command is being ran in the background here. And I think he also, yeah, so this is rather interesting, could definitely be weaponized further. Essentially, any interesting lulbin can be jammed into this and used for this sort of attack. And this, these are the sort of things that I never really attend or that I never really tend to test during my engagements, that, but that I might actually go for in this case, just to see if it actually would work in real life. And I, history says that it does work in real life. So I might actually give this a go in my next engagement. Shout out to Mr. Docs for this fine hair. I think it was quite interesting. Again, it's just a nifty variation on an existing attack that probably is gonna be used for the next following years for sure. And that was it for this short video, guys. Hope you liked the content. Please subscribe, leave a comment. I am open for suggestions if you have anything specifically you would like me to cover. And I really do appreciate the feedback I've been getting for the last couple of weeks. Keep that coming and thank you so much.